Here at Southland Organics, we help growers find effective natural solutions for natural problems at a molecular level. Our goal is to help your farm be as strong and secure as possible. In this poultry biosecurity video series, we are going to take a look at a popular approach in commercial broiler farming, windrowing. Many of you might wonder, is it truly beneficial? What are best practices? And how you can make this part of farm operations easier. We'll cover all this and more in this poultry biosecurity how-to series. Let's give a quick good bacteria versus bad bacteria 101. Clostridium above any other bacteria or virus is the culprit for the overwhelming hurdles that poultry farmers face. Necrotic enteritis, dermatitis, cellulitis in turkey, and countless other problems find their root in clostridium overgrowth. In this new poultry environment where antibiotics are off the table, it is important to control the molecular landscape of your poultry house by strengthening its natural defenses. This starts at the actual foundation. A healthy floor is a healthy bird. Why windrow? Let's take a look at the benefits. Whether you clean out, cake out, till, or windrow, you know managing litter can be a bulk of your operation. If you windrow by choice or mandate, you may wonder if it really makes a difference. Or maybe you've become curious with the growing popularity of the windrow method. Windrowing can be an effective way to use litter to your benefit. Here are just a few examples of the positive impact windrowing litter can have. Most importantly, windrowing kills the bad bacteria. By using a strategic application of temperature, proper depth, width, turning, you can use natural defenses to kill the bad bacteria, which remember, are the root of your biggest problem. Windrowing dries out litter, and provides ammonia control. Windrowing helps prepare your house for a new healthy flock. With a clean slate, bad bacteria have free reign to take over again. For windrowing to have its full lasting positive impact, you must repopulate good bacteria. This is the most important step and is often overlooked. It is essential to maintaining a healthy floor overall conditioned, fluffier, healthy litter. More to come on that in the Poultry Biosecurity Series. Next week, we'll discuss the keys to setting up a successful windrow. If you need help with your windrow, strengthening your natural defenses, or simply would like to learn more, the Southland Organics team is here. Contact me, Alan Reynolds, at 800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. Don't forget to subscribe because we are constantly adding great educational content to help you keep your farm healthy.